Welcome back watch addicts we have a, another watch I was going to do a watch unboxing but the description tells you what it's in so it's not a surprise like with the uh, watch gang watches but this is from Amon Nicolay the guy was actually born around 1875 so he has been around for a long time. It's not a micro brand. You know, people think, oh, yeah, I've never heard of him before. Well, a lot of people haven't heard of him before because they don't advertise like uh, Rolex or Omega or Breitling or any, you know, any other companies like that. They're not a huge company, but they have been around for a long time. You know, the guy actually made his first watch in 1902, so that was actually before Rolex had even started. You know, uh, by uh, Hans Will Duff and uh, Alfred Davis back in London, not Switzerland, as a lot of people uh, may think Rolex uh, started out. Actually, a London company. But um, Amon Nicolay actually made his first watch in 1902. It was a pocket watch. It was a had a gold case with an enamel dial with a chronograph function, moon face uh, phase uh, dial on it, and a day, date, and month calendar on it. You know that's pretty impressive for you know that era. So anyway, back to the watch. Now this is I'm gonna the JS9. Now I have already took all the wrappers off it and everything you know because I didn't uh, want to um, be messing about with it all but let's do a little quick what this watch check this is the Oris this is day date chronograph just quite a large watch but it's a nice watch put a different strap on it function but nice watch so anyway let's get back to uh, the JS9 now this is more of a dress watch than a divers watch I know it is a 300 meters water resistant or 1000 feet 30 atoms if you want to get technical um, it has got a data window on it as well smooth action so you've got a 44 mil case but it doesn't seem like a 44 mil case and what can I actually compare it to which has got a 44 mil case uh, probably my spinnaker it doesn't look much like a 44mm case. It actually wears more like a 41. Well, anyway, it's a 44mm case, as advertised on their website. 13mm um, thick, 52mm uh, approximately lug to lug. Then you've got a nice thick strap on it, 24mm. Uh, and apparently it weighs 400 grams, but I'm not quite sure about 400 grams. It's probably 400 grams with the bracelet on. But I preferred not to get the bracelet. I did get this from a watch shop over here in the UK. So I did get it at a reasonable price as well. So let's have a look at this. I don't know if you can. Actually, see that with it focus. So, on the crown itself, you've got the Armand Nicolet logo. And then, on the rear, let's see if we can get the rear. Nice embossed design on the rear. Fish. And then you've got 30 atoms. 
Uh, Amon Nicolay signature, and then you've got a thousand feet stainless steel, Swiss made, and then AN uh, 481, and then dash 64774. I think that's probably the serial number of it. And Sapphire Crystal. Oh, but I actually got this because I was going to go for another Oris. I was going to go for the Oris Aquis. And you see a lot of Oris Aquises about, and I'm not, you know, I wanted something different because I've got loads and loads of divers' watches. They're all pretty much similar, you know. Um, Ratio to free diver. Got the SKX. Another SKX. Uh, another SKX. And guess what? Another SKX. These three have all I've had modded. They cost quite a bit of money to have them modded, but anyway, uh, I modded them to my spec. And that's just an original. We have seen uh, some of these before. But, you know, um, the Aquis, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful watch. I probably will end up getting it anyway. Um, but this one, I thought, it's a little bit different. You know, the styling on it. I love the way the lugs uh, drop down on it. It does fit nicely on the wrist, which will do a wrist check in a bit. So, the movement in this is a AN2846-9. Um, it's, it's based on the ETA28242 movement. Um, 21 joules, you know, you've got your, sc your screw down crown with a rubber um, shroud on it. That feels really good, that does. Yeah. Nice smooth action. Yes, it is half past seven in the morning. Is it? No, no, it's not. Sorry. It is actually ten to eight in the morning. I'm getting ready for work. And just doing this quick video so also as well on it you've got 120 click bezel it is a ceramic bezel there's a little bit of play about that's quite a, a nice feel to that it's quite grippy that actually on the bezel so, nice and then you got click for your date and then Another click, it is hackable, as you can see. So, time is it? Let's get the right time. Screws down, but that is a lovely feeling on that. Nice and grippy. It's one of the reasons why I bought this as well, because it's just that little bit different. You know, especially with your hour markers as well. You know, you've got a double hour, uh, you know, on each one there's like a little double indentation on it. Very nice. I'm trying to keep it in focus, we'll get a close up on this. It's like a silvery white dial. There's a a blue version of this and an all black version of it but I do like uh, this version better so these are uh, rather expensive and um, they are was it um, if you want it on the stainless steel bracelet they are 1700 uh, Swiss francs which converts to 
$1,700 so convert that to English pounds you know and then I got this one which uh, the 1600 francs uh, Swiss francs um, or sixteen hundred dollars but I got this from a UK company I didn't pay uh, quite as much as that you know this is one of the reasons why I did buy it instead of the uh, Oris I do have um, quite a, I have a few Orises anyway so I thought I'd just get something uh, a little bit different but you know it is a really nice watch it's a uh, Pop it on the wrist, get this wrist off. See what this looks like on the wrist. Well, that feels really good. Well, that feels nice on the wrist. As you can see, see if we can get the idea of it. See how the lugs protrude down? Feels much better. You know, it doesn't feel like a 44 mil. Really do like this watch. So let's do a bit of a loom test and see how good the loom is on it. Blind my eyes. Not too bad the loom. But you know compared to where's my so do you want to me say goes? I think it's with the sake of the loom it does last an awful long time. Yeah the loom on the Seiko is you know far superior to the loom on this, you know, big difference in price. Well not a lot of difference in price after I had it modded, but you know it's uh, I like the uh, ratio. Let's see what's this uh, looms like on this. Decent loom on that as well. well let's uh, see the loom is basically almost faded already. You know, so this this is why I class this more of a. A dress watch rather than a diver's watch. I know it says 300 meters water resistance, you know, but it's more of a dressy watch than anything else. So this is the Armand Nicolet JS9. Like I said in uh, previous videos, be different people. You don't have to buy it, you know what everybody else is buying just because you know you want to be in with the in crowd or whatever or you know match everybody else just to fit in buy something different an individual so. anyway keep watching stay safe and hopefully see you soon